Hello friends, welcome to Technoid channel. Today we will discuss more on component of Vue.js framework. In the last tutorial series, I have given a brief introduction about the component, about its different type, how we can pass the information or variable from, it, uh, from the application instance to the component. So let me uh, give a little bit, uh, you know, recap about whatever we covered in the, you know, last series. So this is our component, okay. And this TNEX is our tag name. So here we have used it. And this is the variable or the properties what this component is expecting. So city. So city will come as an attribute and we can pass any variable. In this case, we are passing CO. And that will be substituted over here and getting displayed here uh, as part of H1 tag. So you can see in this uh, console or Chrome browser, city CO is you know placed. And here also using the vbind, you from application instance, we can pass the variable here and that will go to the component and uh, the component the value will be rendered. This is one way flow. This is the data, data from this either HTML page can go to the component or for the application instance it can go to the component. So this one way flow is there is no problem. But what if uh, we can define another function over here in the component to do any operation. For example, if you click a button, we would like to uh, display some messages or we would like to do any operation. At the same time, we would like to, uh, I, we want to, based upon that uh, action or button click, we would like to do some operation in this application as well. Okay. So what I'm trying to see, if we click a button over here in this component, it's a submit and this button will execute some message. Maybe we'll just display some message, the button is clicked. At the same time, uh, we will inform this that our button is clicked and now you go ahead and do something. Okay. So this is where the event, custom event come into the picture. This custom event for the beginner is a little bit confusing to start with. But once you try to understand very small detail, it is very date simple. Okay, there is no problem. So what we can do, uh, we can create a, instead of h1, h2 tag, we can create a button and there is a already uh, click handler, right? We can listen to the click. So if some click will happen, we'll implement a method and we'll do some kind of operation. Maybe we'll just do some console out over here, just for our example purpose. And also, uh, this particular, you know, view this framework give you a very uh, interesting uh, utility function. So, for example, dollar emit. So, this component can emit any message and uh, tell that uh, some some event happened. Now, for example, click event happened, right? If you uh, the, if the, there is a button and we do a click, so the click will be triggered. Means if somebody click on the mouse. So it will happen. So similarly, so we can associate we, wherever this is only the button. We, we doesn't need to emit. We can emit anywhere, and we can give an, uh, some name. For example, click is a name by standard HTML or JavaScript world, but we can give our own name. And this instance in this class, he needs to listen to that event. And here the listening is no need to learn a different uh, different syntax like dollar emit. So in Vue.js, you can still use V on and colon, you can listen to that whatever that, uh, you know, a custom event you have created. This name is you are going to provide here. And once this event will be triggered, you can execute any method you can define over here and that will be executed. That means, just again a quick uh, recap, earlier we define a city, okay. So we uh, can access using attribute. From application, we can pass this value and this will be one flow will be done without event. But in event, what will happen if we can uh, define a method and if you dollar emit, so if any change will happen inside this component, so this can write some additional method and listen here and they can execute this code here. So this flow will go in this direction. 
okay so the from component to uh, to the uh, application instance okay so a lot of theory so let me uh, explain about one quick example okay so i want uh, this is you can refer to my earlier example how we can pass this variable as i said uh, let me instead of h1 tag let me uh, create a button button v on here also we can use v on there is no problem let me uh, listen to click Okay, I can use uh, double call submit. Submit. Okay, so I have created one button here. So let me reload. Submit is not defined, no issue. So we can define a methods here. Submit function. Submit click. inside component okay so i don't need this okay so whenever this submit will be clicked so this message will be displayed over in our console that's it same thing simple thing let me reload the space okay submit submit clicked inside this uh, computer dimension okay let me change it to component okay very simple so there is no change over here and we can just even get rid of this particular you know uh, city variable so nothing will change so if you click the submit submit this is very simple right you can implement so no denying that now what is this all event is all about so here for example this click is the event okay but this event is a html standard javascript standard so we not created by ourselves so here i can create my own event so how to create this dollar emit my event my okay better to keep a prefix my prefix dn hyphen my event this is my name like click so which is very commonly used so this is my name so my my buttons whenever this is my component you don't know whether i have a button or whatever maybe so i may have some text or whatever maybe so, so for example i have i have my text right uh, my text okay so i can emit any any component below or above so i think i have to use multi line leave it just uh, let me continue with example okay so we we can define any uh, other elements here also so here if you click submit this will be clicked now, now I am emitting this uh, TMI event. So there may be high chance that you don't want to listen. You don't care because whenever we click this division, another thing you don't want to care. But let's say you want to listen my event. For example, this application instance. It is very simple. So you can use v on. This is VOE. We already discussed here. Like call on. Like we are doing click, right? Do something. Okay. So now if I reload. This do something click is also we can use but our this is if you click here it will be same thing but our event this time is this tn event so let me so when this will be executed when i click on this button immediately this will be printed and this particular event will be triggered and do something will be executed okay now here we can define methods do something this is a function okay now custom event trigger okay so let me reload if you click here see the summit clicked inside this will be first executed out now this will emit the event now whichever who is listening so their message will be triggered right so you can uh, there are a lot of see i already told you this global you know uh, global component can be used in across different different uh, application for example let me create up to so up to okay so let me okay do 
we can define some other method they, they don't necessarily to define this uh, something do more okay and tn2 okay so do more okay now we'll get two button because we are using two times okay just let me reload if i click the first one submit click inside the component custom event trigger from the, this one and if i click over here second one so do more is getting triggered so uh, the um, magic of this is that we can you know use across the board and we can listen and we can change this behavior you can manipulate your own data let's say this button is click inside this component you would like to increase the counter or this change the name whatever you can do that so the idea is that you can emit events you can watch it and you can do manipulation i hope i uh, today a little bit stretched to explain you the simple concept because uh, initial whenever somebody starting and understanding this event mechanism was a little bit tough to understand or oh, i just elongated i hope it is fine you can leave me the comment whether you want very too fast or it is okay to you to understand so i won't drag today further i'll create some other tutorial the agent of this tutorial is to just you understand about the custom event emitting hope you understand it clearly right we just do the dollar event see it is very simple but how the pieces are hanging together where to use it so it would be a little bit different but you may you may understand this is yeah dollar i made and this is where you're listening but you will more to than think where to use it what is the use case but slowly it will get to know it right so you think about more so you'll find a way and we'll create some more use cases and live examples or project i'm planning to create so if you like my videos please please like uh like my youtube videos and subscribe to it so that you will get update about the new feed new videos i create i'm planning to create angular js2 react and nodejs all mostly i am really passionate about uh, javascript framework ionic framework and whatever may be in the javascript world so maybe i create some other tutorial and some other technical topics but my seriousness in full stack javascript so i'm planning to create a hell lot of tutorials so please encourage me by sharing my tutorial by leaving a comment say any nice word or criticize it i'm open to both the form of it so thanks again have a wonderful day ahead bye bye